హలో ఇరు వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ రాకేష్ యువన్ స్కీన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద సెషన్ ఆఫ్ ఒరికల్ ఎస్క్యూఎల్ సో గైస్ ఇన్ అవర్ లాస్ట్ సెషన్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ ది రిప్లేస్ ఫంక్షన్ నా వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ది ఎగ్రిగేట్ ఫంక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ అస్ అ గ్రూప్ బై ఫంక్షన్ ఎస్ దట్ ఈస్ టాపిక్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ సో లెట్స్ స్పీక్ ఇన్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు పిక్ త్రీ ఫంక్షన్ విచ్ ఈస్ యువర్ మీన్ మ్యాక్స్ అండ్ ఎవరేజ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద త్రీ ఫంక్షన్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ సో లెట్స్ బిగిన్ విత్ ది ఫస్ట్ ఫంక్షన్ విచ్ ఈస్ మీన్ ఫంక్షన్ సో కైస్ వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ ఫంక్షన్ మీన్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూస్ టు గెట్ ది మినిమమ్ వాల్యూ so that is nothing but your mean function now guys before i explain mean function and rest of the function in detail i would like to tell one thing i will explain one function in detail rest of the function is similar okay so let's start with the mean function so what is mean function i have already explained now let's understand uh, mean function with the help of one example but before that let's see the syntax part of the mean function so as you can see on the your screen this is the syntax of the mean function in which we need to pass only one argument okay now let's see one example of the mean function in detail okay for that i need to take help of one table content okay so as you can see on the your screen this is the table content on which i am going to use the uh, mean function okay now let's say for example if you have written query like that select mean of salary from the employee table then what would be the output of this query the output of this query will be as you can see on the your screen this will be the output of the uh, this query now uh, this mean uh, minimum value is from entire table guys okay so if you will see the employee table in your database then this will be the minimum value now let's say for example if i have written query like that select uh, mean of salary from the employee table where employee id in 101 102 103 then a minimum value come from where as you can see on the your screen from this highlighted area okay so what would be the output output you can see on the your screen so this is nothing but your mean function in in similar fashion max function the but the functionality of max function will be it will give the maximum value instead of the minimum value okay and in the same way the average function is also average function will return the average of the all the selected rows okay so this is nothing but your average function now let's see the syntax of the max function and the average function so this is the syntax of the max function as you can see on the your screen in which we need to pass only one argument as we passed in the minimum function or mean function i can see now let's see the syntax part of the average function so as you can see on the your screen this is the syntax part of the average function so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the syntax of all the three functions mean max and average and what is the functionality of the mean max and average function now let's go for the practical part in that you will understand what exactly how exactly it is retrieving the data from the table so let's go for the practical so guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the mean max and average function now it's time for the practice so let's begin but before that i would like to show you the table content on which i am going to use the mean max and average function okay so over here you can see i use the employee table and from the employee table i have selected only three columns which is your first name salary and department id okay so let me show you the content of the employee table you can see over here this is the maximum salary and minimum salary will be somewhere okay um, somewhere i am not sure about that okay so this is the content of the employee table now let's use the mean max and average function on this table okay so how you can use it you can use it like this as you can see on the your screen this is the max function this is the average function and this is the mean function max function will give the maximum salary from the employee table average function will give the average of all the salary 
okay from the employee table and mean function will give the minimum salary from the employee table since we have passed over here salary so it will give the minimum value of sorry maximum value of the salary and over here i have passed the salary as well so it will give the average of the salary so whatever the column over here you are passing it will give the average of that okay and guys these functions can take only the number uh, column means those column which is having the number data type over here you cannot pass the first name or last name or date kind of column because there is no point to give over here uh, maximum uh, first name what does it mean D there is no meaning okay so that's why always prefer to give over here number data type function okay so this is the thing you have to take care now if i will run this query then what it will give it will give the maximum salary it will give the average salary and this will give the minimum salary okay so let's run this and let's see so as you can see over here this is the maximum salary this is the average salary and this is the minimum salary okay now instead of this i will add over here where condition then what it will give it will give some other values okay maximum salary this one average salary is this one and minimum salary is this one now you can surprise that how output got changed so guys what happened over here we added the where condition so if i added where condition then it will give the output from where you can see over here let me show you the actual content of this query so it will give the output from over here it will select the maximum salary and minimum salary and average of all the salary from these rows instead of the entire table because we have added over here where condition so whatever the rows are selected from there it only it will give the mean max and average salary okay so this is the thing you have to take care now guys one more thing i would like to tell over here over here you cannot use the some column like first name something first name first name something like this first name okay or uh, let's say for example over here if i want to display the salary then also i cannot use since it's a single row function so it will give some error definitely error single row error function it will give because over here uh, you cannot uh, work out like that okay so it is returning multiple uh, rows and this is returning only one row so it won't work okay so you just try to understand over here you cannot use like that okay and if you want to use then you have to use the group by function okay that we will discuss in the rest of the video or in the upcoming video so guys i hope you have understood mean max and average function okay now let's go for the assignment so guys i hope you have understood the all the three function now it's time to say goodbye Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.